do you recognize that building if you do you probably know what country we're in that's right we're in malaysia specifically kuala lumpur first time here bucket list country for us today we're going to be going to jalon alor which is a night market it's still the daytime so we're going there a little bit later yeah really excited super excited we're going to give you our first impressions in this video try some um, malaysian food meet some malaysian people drink some malaysian beer go to some malaysian 7-elevens and withdraw some Malaysian cash from a Malaysian ATM. Yeah, Come bring. join us. <laughs> I am excited. I'm starving. It's Let's hot. Go this way. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. Bye bye. So we have arrived at Jalan Alor, one of the busiest food street markets in the world. In the world. Yeah, 500 meter long street of food. And I thought it was going to be dead, but it's so That's buzzing. Look, it's amazing. Oh, look, I smell Jiria. We do. We do love it. <laughs> I do an ice cream. No, you don't. Oh, People in the comments, jury and ice cream, yes or no? Yay or nay? Meat on a stick. Yes, hello. Hello. I'm in the mood for some sambal. Sambal. Yeah. There's a lot of seafood places there here. They got a seafood pot. Oh, what is this? Hello, guys. Oh, exactly. Thank you. Oh, jerky. Oh, lovely. Jerky. Wow. Mm. I need to go to an ATM. I'll come back. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. Thank you. I don't have USD, I'm British. I'm a sandwich, sandwich. You probably don't believe me, but I do actually want some of that. I know, it was delicious, wasn't it? Need to find a bloody ATM. There's one right there. Cash. First impressions, manic. People are friendly. That one tiny piece of jerk bacon was absolutely lovely. Yeah. Um, sambal. So anything with sambal will do. Anything spicy, yeah. Okay, let's go. Settle in a restaurant. We have called Menki Grillfish Restaurant. Yeah, we literally said we weren't feeding seafood and now we're in a seafood restaurant. I feel like all of the places along here are seafood. A lot of them are, yeah. What we've seen so far, anyway. The main thing was just that we went to somewhere where all the locals were. There's a lot of locals here, so I think that's um, a given. Yeah. We'll get a little bit and then we'll move on. Oh, yeah, look, they've got abalone. I've seen, we've seen that everywhere in, like, Singapore and, like, now in Malaysia. Right, we went with... Scallops with like garlic butter, I think it was. Mussels. We also got like sambal mussels, yeah. never had that before. Uh, we also satay. got beef satay, um, Chinese um, water, spinach. water spinach, yeah. That's it. In like garlic. And two tigers, cheers. Two tigers. I've never had a beer in one of these little glasses before. They're funny. cute, aren't they? Yeah, they are cute. They are Heineken, they are. They are Heineken. They do stingray here, which is pretty wild. I know. As we were saying, it's just like we really weren't feeling seafood at all, but we just got rained in. Seafood's always good as well, but yeah, we got that satay, didn't we? As well, got the satay to mix it up a bit. We were thinking maybe we're gonna get some like black pepper, pepper like beef thing. We were like, oh no, we'll go switch it up no, no, a little no. bit. But I think we will be going back to that jerky stall because that was really oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Jerky sandwiches. Oh, yeah. Well, we've got the. Water spinach and the mussels. Whoa! Mussels maybe cool Yeah, you can see the steam no, they're fine. coming off. Going in. Hot, spicy, or just hot? Both. The sambal is amazing. There. Yeah, that. Fragrant. Oh, fragrant. Fragrant. Bit burning on the throat. 
makes you a bit worried what you're going to feel like tomorrow if you catch my drift. The mussels taste nice as well. Yeah? Ooh, yeah. Lovely. And the uh, garlic. They call it Chinese garlic. Here. I'm pretty sure it's just water spinach, but yeah, it's lovely. Trying the muscle. I've never had spicy mussels either. I don't think I have either. That's really, really good. Like sometimes I get a bit scared with like big mussels if they're like too chewy, but. And you get a bit scared of sambal as well. Well, yeah, but this is like not public freak out spice level, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Trying the beef satay. I love a bit of satay. When we came back from Singapore, I was gagging for more satay to be fair. Chewy, oh, yeah. but the actual the actual satay sauce, lovely, nice and peanutty, and very peanutty. Tastes a bit like tastes a bit like satay from the Chinese in the UK. Yeah, it's quite orange, isn't it? It is, yeah. And very nutty. Mm. Thank you, mate. I understand why they're 13 pounds now. Scarlet. What, what do you think of the? Uh... Mm. Right, good. When you said chewy, I was a bit scared, but like this, this is fine. Yeah. On your, yeah, really on nice. your level of chill, of chew to chill. Yeah, it's not like we are chewing like chewing gum, you know. Oh, it's right. It's like yeah. it's still like tender, you know. Bet you're well excited for this. When was the last time you had a scarlet? God knows. Vietnam, Honestly, probably. Vietnam, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna bite some off. That's nice. Oh. What's the sauce? You know what the sauce is? Spicy. Spicy. But like, I don't know, more like citrusy. I feel yeah, like. Yeah. I'm know? trying to smell it. Yeah. Mm. You are gonna love that. Yeah. Delicious. Not too hot. Oh, that's really nice to try. <laughs> You're gonna go for the old, just toss it back. No, I'm gonna get the, the, the old the chop of the stick of the chops. A lot of garlic in there. Mm. Oh yeah, that's the right mouthful. Ooh. Wow. That flavour though. Intense. Delicious. That's definitely a little bit more spicy that sauce. I feel. I think I put way too much on my one. Yeah, you did like a massive, not a dab, like, a, like an actual dash. That was lovely. Wow, that is hot though. But yeah, lovely. Yeah. Lovely but hot. Hot but lovely. Right, so we've settled the bill that came to 196 ringgit, which is about 30 pounds. Absolutely amazing. Really good. I mean, not bad for seafood, to be fair. I'm satisfied with, you know, I don't think I'm going to have crave seafood again while we're here. Super full as well. But yeah, I'll sh let's show you a bit more of the street. Oh, they got Vietnamese food. Oh, yeah. Banh mi. Pho. Fresh spring rolls, snails, busy too, super busy. We've got Thai foods, oh two lots of Thai foods. Oh there's loads of Thai food on this bit actually, it's all Thai food. Because it is probably about midnight now. 
Yeah. Isn't it? And I'm pretty sure in the day it's like a normal street with normal restaurants, but at night time they just they go into the road. So what was your very brief first impressions of Kuala Lumpur? I really like it. I mean, we've only seen it at night time so far, but what I've seen I've really liked. I mean, there's so much more to like uncover, isn't there? Yeah. We only have two days. But two full days, yeah. We're going to try and cram in as much as we can. Yeah, we've got an and apartment tour. We're staying at a really yeah. nice apartment. So we'll be able to show you kind of what you get for your money in an apartment here. We're also going to the Petronas Towers. Petronas, Petronas Towers. Petronas Towers. Yeah. To Vertigo Bar, which is really nice as well, isn't yeah. it? On the last night. Batu Caves tomorrow, I think. Yes. We're going to um, try a really famous burger as well. Yes, yeah, a really Ram exciting. So we, we spotted a few yeah. as we were leaving. Um, we just got to try and find the, the best one. And we're also going to go to Petaling Market, Chinatown oh, Market. Oh, yeah. There's a shrine there as well, yeah. the temple. So, yeah. Watch Stay the space. Tuned. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Sorry, it's a bit of a brief one. We had a blast. We just got too full, too early, as well, usual. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Peace. See you next time.